Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to Angola. We are, of course, playing as the South African Defense Force and UNITA against the MPLA rebels. Now, guys, we have a serious situation. It looks like the settlement over here, this Angolan settlement uh, owned by the MPLA, is forming an attack directly to hit us. Now, our commander wants us to take these two positions, but we've had that happen before, and we know what happens. We get wrecked. So what I'm actually going to do is form sort of a defensive barrier, well, a, def a defensive perimeter right here, and let the enemy come to us. I might send some units out, like these infantry units, for recon purposes, but otherwise, I really want these guys to come to us. I'm not concerned about them getting back here in Bosavia. So I'm going to move these guys up here with the tanks, and hopefully all of these guys together can form a pretty badass defensive line. And we can only really tell once the battle starts, but I think it's going to be nice. What we're going to do here is wait for the enemy to come to us. Hopefully they're going to arrive soon, and then we've got more than enough uh, to hold them off. Sadly, we do have some panic in the lines. No commander with some of our tanks, obviously dead in uh, other battles, but we're going to try not to worry about that. I'm going to take De Carvalho, and I'm going to go ahead and actually recon forward. And I'm also going to recon towards Cobango with Dujanjush. Uh, Dujanjush is actually Portuguese for, for the angels, which is kind of cool. Um, so I'm actually going to go ahead and, once again, I am going to recon this area. We will return, guys, when we get some contact. All right, guys, we've got enemy contacts here. And uh, basically, the enemy's in the wire. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look. I want to see if we can get a closer view. I heard some shots, but it look, doesn't look like our men see them yet. They're somewhere over here in the village. So I'm going to have Dushan Zhuzh actually approach in an assault formation. Um, so he's almost attacking this area instead of just reconning. I'm also going to take Librant, uh, our South African tanker, and we are going to attack in this position to assist our infantry. I'm hoping he can move quickly. Move Dushan Zhuzh. Now these are UNITA troops, but the tanks are South African. Come on, boys. Holy crap. Woo! Nice shooting. This is going to get nasty, guys. I feel bad for the villagers. Hmm. Lebron's tank is doing really well, but look at that. We've got what could be an ATGM. I want to take that thing out now. I want Lebron to take it out as well. Oh, he fired it. I really want Lebanon to kill that thing. So here's hoping we can get to it quickly. If not, I think it's probably a good idea to start sending more infantry over here anyway. Um, maybe not necessarily sending any more tanks, though. Shit, commander killed. Actually, we'll have them fast move. Come on, Lebanon. All right, so Dujan as you can see, he's down. His men are seriously under fire here. We know that there are a lot of enemies here. But Librant has got to keep his eye on the task, which right now should be destroying that ATGM, or what could be an ATGM. Come on, shoot it. Shit, I told you, man. He just got hit hard. I hope he's okay. Fire, man, shoot it. It's now or never. Definitely going to have to send some infantry to deal with that thing, because if, if he's not going to shoot at it, then we need someone else to. So, Kasoma, I want him to go... In fact, Kasoma and uh, Serpentine are going to go and attack. I'm probably terribly butchering these names. I know Lebron could kill the ABC, but I want him focused on this, so... Kind of annoying. There we go! Finally fired on it, and there we go! He is hitting it! Thank God, Lebron. Oh! It's a nasty shot! I think they missed. We're still firing at them. They missed. Come on, Lebron. You can focus on the APCs later. And it looks like he went ahead and took it out anyway. You guys can see that burning APC. Come on, man. I want this guy to survive. I want to pin the metal on his chest. There we go, Lebron. Could also be some of the... Uh, the terrain here, although it looks pretty flat. Yep, it looks like we took it out, guys. That ATGM is finished. There's plenty of infantry there to be uh, concerned about. And it looks like the machine gun is getting up there. Oh, hardcore. Lee Bell's machine gun is getting up there. It looks like he, po he popped back down. Could have been hurt. Actually, yes, he was hurt. Um, but we do have some prisoners captured. In fact, he might be dead. 
killed or heavily wounded. Got shot right through the chest, but he did manage to take out a number of the enemy here, and it looks like we're going to be taking some Unita, ca uh, excuse me, MPLA captives prisoner for questioning. Um, and we will continue moving forward with what remains of Lebrant. I want to also just scour this village and make sure that there's nothing else out here. Uh, as for Sufantine and Kasoma, I'm going to take them and attack over here. Look at that, guys. Look at all those enemy APCs. This is our perfect time for revenge. Sufantine, over here, man. Some of those APCs may be capable of firing on the tanks, guys, so we have to be careful. They could have anti-tank technology. You know that these uh, Angolans can be crafty, and especially with their Cuban allies. Come on, Sufantine. Shit, that thing definitely has anti-tank capabilities. There we go, that's a hit. I don't know if it's a kill. It wasn't Sufantine that fired the shot, but he fired that one, and that was definitely a, at least a serious hit. Yep, that's got to be a kill. That thing is burning. Awesome. So Sufantine is now taking a look at the village, trying to see if he spots any enemies out over there. Probably a safe thing to do. All right, there's still another APC out there. Sir Fontaine, go for this one. And we are following this guy into battle, guys. We want to make sure that we take these positions. This entire area is a large enemy settlement. We can see that now. We absolutely have to get rid of the enemy presence. Good shooting! It was a miss, but good shooting. Reload. Try again. This has a full crew. Alright, I'm going to get away from Surfantine for a little bit. I want to take a look at other parts of the battlefield. Just making sure that we're not experiencing any issues elsewhere. And let's actually see how Librant is. Librant, go towards Kubango. And I think I'm going to have Serpentine assault as well, guys. Shouldn't stop here. Okay, we've got some enemy contact. Let's see where, where it's at. Oh, we've been here before. It's alright, we can deal with that. Alright, guys, we're advancing on that enemy position. And where are these infantry? You know what? We're going to take these guys, and we're going to start heading towards the settlement. I'm going to go ahead and assault. I'm going to take these tankers um, and send them over here. Assault. Or just fast move, as a matter of fact, for them, because this area is pretty much destroyed. And with Forster, I'm just going to send them right up the center with the fast move. We do have some infantry to cut a value over here by the settlement, guys, but we haven't taken it, which means that there should be some enemies around. So we're going to go ahead. Let's keep reconning the position. See if we can find these dastardly Angolans. Well, actually, most of our army is Angolan too, so doesn't really apply. But okay, let's see. Libertant two down. That's why he hasn't really done much. We do have a key point taken. That's really good. And yes, we took the settlement. Awesome. Um, I think right now I'm just going to go ahead and actually seek cover in the settlement. I want to defend this area. I don't want to lose it. And we've got more and more enemies to deal with, but I could see now why this guy, uh, Librant, has not really done anything. He's got one guy alive in that tank, and he's probably in shock. Oh boy. Wow. It's a lot of enemies, and looks like enemy tanks, possibly. See some firing coming from over there by the, uh, the lagoon. Oh man. Sir Fontaine may have gone a little too far. I'm going to reverse. Reverse Sir Fontaine. Doesn't look like he wants to. I don't know, maybe the track is off. Popping smoke. Here we go, get on that machine gun! Mm-hmm. They got the track off, guys. So he is stuck out here right now until we get some uh, reinforcements, surrounded by a lot of uh, MPLA troops. We can actually see uh, an APC down there, so I'm hoping once the smoke clears that Sir Fontaine's going to be able to wipe that thing out. Looks like most of these guys are going to be okay, as long as he could just hold off this attack. Shit. 
Shoot them. Oh, that's close. Keep shooting. Nice. We're hitting that position directly, guys. It's right below us uh, in the valley. Kubungo Valley. And we can see this thing. We just have to kill it. Cuban APC. I should say Russian APC owned by the Cubans. Um, let's pop back. So yeah, look at all of that enemy activity. Unbelievable. We, we see that not all of the enemies have been wiped out uh, from the area here uh, near uh, Sudo Fontaine's area. So we're definitely going to be attacking carefully. As you can see, our guys are already moving up and uh, engaging the enemy as much as possible. Holy shit, some of them are even being taken out. Keep it up, boys. Por patria, por vitoria. You see anything there? Looks like Sir Fontaine is still fighting, guys, and he took that APC out. That thing is burning. I love it. And while he's here, he can probably do a lot of damage to the enemy. But obviously, we want to approach uh, that area by Kubango, too, and try to take it as well. It would be a serious uh, loss to the enemy. This is where they ferry across a lot of their troops. And if we could stop this river crossing, then uh, we could really do a world of good. Come on, men. The Unita troops right here um, are going to have to help as much as they can. It looks like he finally got wasted. He did the best he could, but he didn't actually... The tank didn't get destroyed. It's just everybody inside died. Uh, it does say destroyed, but I don't see this thing burning or anything. I think, as you can see over here, we see a dead man. He probably tried to escape uh, the tank. They probably tried to run and unfortunately did not survive. Doubt very much that any of those tankers are alive, but we're still sending in a team of infantry to try and rescue them. Alright, come on, boys. Nice! Already some very close fighting. See the remains of the enemy's ATGM there. I'm hoping we don't need a tank for this part. I don't think we do, but we might as well bring him over. So I'm going to get Forster to fast move even farther here. And we could take Krilo with us too, because at this point, uh, I'm pretty sure I know where we want to go. And that's towards Kubango. So another over here on the left, guys. I don't know if you see him, uh, but there is another enemy APC. So I'm going straight for that with Mbeki. We don't need an enemy APC near us. Fire Mbeki. You don't be a fool. No, keep assaulting, keep assaulting. Not to mention, we could go for Chimbu 1. So he's really bringing up the rear of the attack here. And he should see that thing very soon. He's going to turn his turret very soon, I hope. Um, if not, we may need to do it for him. Cat got your tongue on, Becky. This way. Here we go. This is more where he's kind of aimed at. There we go. Oh, he's looking now. He is hunting like a hungry shark. Not really seeing anything at the moment. What are you doing, man? All right. He looks like he may finally be aiming. Oh, that thing is going up. That thing's going up. If we don't, come on. I definitely saw some something burn there. It could have just been that actually opening fire. Come on, Mbeki, why will you not follow my orders? Look at that. There we go, finally. He might finally see that uh, APC. There we go, shit, well he sees something. Not sure if he sees an APC though, now that we did, we did have a commander killed, I definitely want to see which commander. If it's an infantry, I can deal with that. I know it's kind of mean, but we really need our tank commanders to stay alive. And Mbeki really needs to kill that APC. Missing. He's missing. Fast move. Alright, good. He's already moving forward. We're not even telling him to. 
Of course, still insisting not to aim in the correct direction. Right now, we have not enough leadership for him to follow our orders, or he's probably going to figure this out on his own. If he doesn't, he might die. We lost a lot of faith in you, Mbeki. Nice. A key point taken. Thinking if we just get that gun to aim, then we might be able to take him out just moving by him. Come on, Mbeki. Boom! That's what I'm talking about, guys. That thing is destroyed. Utterly and totally destroyed. Also, it's got a nice amount of bullet holes in it, but there is no way that that crew survives. Look at that. Running in a terror from that APC as we continue towards victory. I love it. We're going to keep going, guys. Kubango is ours at this point, and really now I'm just waiting for the enemy to, uh, to get smart and surrender. Uh, at this point, that's the best thing they could do. We absolutely annihilated them here. But the battle's not over, of course. Where's that fire coming from? Oh, we might have some issues over at Quito. I didn't want to have to go to Quito. But I might try. And as you can see, the order is only executed partially. Really don't want to lose that settlement, so I think it's probably a good idea for Forster to start moving this way. Enemy contact! By the river. I expected this. Might be some troops hidden also, guys, in these uh, rice fields. I'm guessing they're rice fields. Could be corn, actually. Um, over here on the left. Maze, as they say. Not that kind of maze. So we're going to keep going here. And just packing up. I think we're good. Sadly, leadership-wise, our men are tired of our orders. Get him, Becky. There may be more than one. One guy is just going nuts. He's panicking. <laughs> Doesn't know what to do. I would try to swim across the river, but there are crocodiles, so uh, let's keep that in mind. Hippos, crocs, it's not the safest bet. Although I think it's a lot safer than facing one of our uh, one of our tanks. I'm going to let him decide, though. All right, Forcer is going towards the direction we want, guys. This is some good news for sure. I'm going to try to get Creel to follow. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get Creel moved this way, and I'm hoping he's going to go ahead and follow those orders. We will follow Forster and make sure that we provide some sort of uh, resistance on this front. Forrester, aim this way, man. Once again, this button, I don't know, I just don't think it works, because every time I use this and try to get them to aim, it's very rare they actually follow that order. Uh, it could also have to do with my leadership up here at the top, but it's kind of annoying. This guy's still alive. <laughs> the luckiest man on Earth. All right, we got one of them. Alright, Forrester, slow. look how slow he is with that. Turning that turret. Just looks like he's not even trying. The battle's not over yet, man. Alright, they've got somebody nice. I like this. Somebody up on the turret gun being able to actually look. There's actually two guys popped out. That's really cool. So maybe a spotter and a gunner. Um, that would be awesome. I want to also go over here. Fast move. Just fast move. I'm not even going to order an assault. Try to take Keto 3. Some panic? Where? Alright, Serpa just lost his shit. Uh, and I didn't even realize we have a few... I just now realize we have a few allied troops on the field. But apparently they just, they just went nuts and ran. <laughs> Fair enough. Be careful, Forster. Alright guys, imagine how terrifying this would be. They know for a fact that they've received reports of enemy activity in the area. Um, and if they come into contact with that enemy, it could kill them. Uh, especially if they're popped out like this. You know, anybody could see them. For all we know, this could be the great Archangel himself. 
uh, Archangel knows who he is sitting in that tank uh, cockpit. So we've got to be careful with these guys and more importantly, be aware um, out here. So I'm actually going to try to cut the enemy off. Oh shit, what was that? What was that? Did you guys see that or am I just going crazy? I think I saw a bullet hit the vehicle. I'm almost certain I did. Yeah, they're inside. Something hit it. Oh boy. We're getting closer. Nice, he spotted it. Forster spotted some infantry. Beautiful, but I want to find those APCs. That's all well and good, but let's find the vehicles. Alright, I'm really focusing on him. He's leading this attack. Obviously, we've got Crele over here. And we just want Crele to go straight for this area. We'll also take the Carvalho, uh, the infantry unit, and we shall fast move. There we go. That's an APC, baby. Get him. Get him, Forrester. So like my rabbit attack dogs from South Africa. Aim at the damn thing, you fool. All right, we have taken the key point, but we're not leaving until we kill all of these APCs. There's one over there as well. Come on, man. Get with the times. One right next to him. I think Forster's planning to uh, say hello to the enemy. <laughs> really close. Man, you better turn that gun. You're going to get shot. All right, they're closing up hatch. But why they're not targeting these APCs, I have no clue. Come on, Forster. Do something, man. All right, our other tank shot that APC. He's done. And it looks like Forster's watching. That. Could they possibly be working together? That would actually be really good... Um, uh, really, really good AI, because it looks like Forster didn't fire at that tank, because this tank behind him had a shot. Um, let's find, where's the second tank? Uh, Krile. So, maybe they were communicating on radio. Forster saying he was going for the second, uh, I keep calling it a tank, it's just an APC. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's what could possibly happen there. I think that's awesome. And now Forster's out on the machine gun, pretty confident at this point, and just making sure that the rest of the enemy is destroyed. Doesn't look like the enemy is asking for a ceasefire. We've taken all the positions we need to take. Um, and I think it's definitely fair to accept that ceasefire. I don't have any killing I need done yet. Or any killing I need continued, I should say. Uh, we've done enough. We've destroyed this area. Liberated the settlements. And I think it's easy to say that this is a victory. Uh, a big victory. Let's hope so, though. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to accept that ceasefire. And let's hope it doesn't come back to bite us in the ass. We know Graviteam uh, can occasionally have a, a strange ending to a battle. Uh, but in this case, I think we got more kills. We uh, took more territory. We should get the victory. That's what I thought. Some nice revenge for our boys. Looks like we lost 17 brave men, 7 wounded. The enemy, 55 killed, 1 wounded. They couldn't save almost any of their men uh, on that battlefield. And of course, the amount of vehicles lost. Look at that. 9 enemy vehicles. We did, however, lose 1 tank, which is not a good thing. But I think this is a victory and the way we need to fight in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care and glory to the South Africans.